Yes. In a sense, you're not an amputee anymore. You don't look down. Your walking is pretty much, you don't think about walking, you just do it. My name is Rick Napton. Mm -hmm. I'm an amputee. In 2002, I was walking down the street and helped a couple of kids get a ball off of a roof, and I fell about three feet and shattered my ankle. Oh, wow. And went roughly eight years before mm -hmm. I finally just said I didn't want to keep it anymore. I had my leg removed. Mm -hmm. Three months later, my prosthetist was contacted by Jennifer McCarthy, one mm -hmm. of the prosthetists here, mm -hmm. and invited me over to walk the ankle. This is my conventional foot. It's, yeah. it's a very good foot. Um, mm -hmm. It's College Park. Mm -hmm. um, it's a conventional in the sense there is no power. Whatever I give to it, it gives half of that back. iWalk's prosthetic ankle, the biome, takes it to the next level. It's a robot ankle. It is a bionic device. Mm -hmm. So um, we are actually mimicking the physiology of the human body. Just like a muscle, the biome provides power that helps the user push off from the ground with every step. It helps you in the sense that it allows you to maintain a normalized gait. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I didn't have this power assist, I may not be able to do that. Mm -hmm. The biome can tell whether the user is walking, running, climbing a ramp, or walking downstairs. Its sensors measure where it is in space, and its microprocessors determine how much it should flex and how hard to push off from the ground. Mm -hmm. So there's a um, gyroscope in there, there's mm -hmm. an accelerometer, mm -hmm. basically a six DOF mm -hmm. system or six degrees of freedom mm -hmm. um, that's, that's located in the IMU. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's the inertial measurement unit. Okay. Um, so it's measuring uh, going forward, going backwards, side to side, mm -hmm. up and down. So it knows where it is in, you know, in all planes of space. Mm -hmm. And um, based on that input, it, you know, then uh, communicates to the encoder uh, via state and motor controller mm -hmm. um, to do what it does. The biome responds reflexively to the user's pace, supplying more or less power as needed. So we, uh, we use this Bluetooth-enabled um, tablet to communicate wirelessly to the ankle. And um, we have various parameters that we're tuning. Mm -hmm. So one of them is considered the stiffness. And this controls how quickly the foot descends down to the ground. The best part, once a user's robot ankle has been adjusted to match his natural gait, he can forget all about it. I mean, as I'm walking right now, other than a little bit of sound that I hear, I wouldn't really be paying attention to my foot. Mm -hmm. I'd just be moving along. <laughs> For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Eliza Strickland.